confuse your job with your work. Because that's where many of you make mistakes. When a man loses his job, he lost his head. But your job is not what you are created here to be. Your job is what you are paid for. But you are called here to work. Your work is what you are born to do. Your job is what people pay you for the things you do. And that's why somebody can sack you from your job, but nobody can sack you from being. Hallelujah! I say something very important. Nobody can sack you from being. What do you do with your spare time in the, in the evening when you come back from your job? That's when you start deploying yourself. A total man is a man who deployed himself. Who find out the gift why he came here. Keep that job until your gift come. But your gift is in you. Stop looking for where to search it. The thing you are looking for is within you, not outside of you. When you discover it, the people that know you will never know you again. This is the mystery behind the man they call Cosmas in Madaka. I found this out very early in my life and I believe it with all my heart and I followed it as a law of God. You are called here to walk. Walk is God said to the man, dress this garden. Keep it for me. Walk is your main purpose of birth. Not job. Job is what they paid you for. So, if you go to job, they can sack you. My time is up. They can sack you from that job, but nobody can sack you from being. If you stay with the word of God and deploy yourself, deploying yourself is finding out the things you were called here to do. Let me round up here. I go, I round it up on a vision. Listen, you can go to, you can go to work and they will send you back on that job. You need to have the right attitude. I found that the remaining thing I'm talking about, don't criticize, don't complain, and don't condemn. It's a law. Don't condemn, don't complain, don't criticize. This is a principle. The children of Israel, nobody saw more miracle than them. Miracle never change anybody. Miracle is to get your attention to hear the word of God. That's what he's sent for. Miracle is not a means for you to, it's, a, it's, it's God coming on the scene to show you that he's still alive. But that miracle does not violate his principle. His principles still remain. The children of Israel saw more miracle. One time in Genesis, I think, uh, 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 Numbers verse 8 or so, they, they complain. We have nothing to eat except this manna. This manna. The heavenly food becomes this manna to them. Because they trivialized the things God is doing. They couldn't see beyond that. And God said, you, you, you economize this. You didn't mean anything to you. That's how many of us are. Let us trust God without reservation. And believe him for what he promised to do in our life. So, when you have a vision and you are working and they send you back from that job, don't condemn that company. Don't say things wrong about them. And that's one thing I'm going to tell you. You go to work on Monday. That's where I want to close. What I want you to do. If they are persecuting you on that job, go to that job with excitement. Anybody you see, you shake his hand, smiling. And they will be wondering what is going wrong with you. And they thought, oh, this guy, I thought he's frustrated and we almost get him out of this place. And they will say, is that everything okay? You just said, that is not what I saw. You have spoken in tongue. They need an interpreter to do that. <laughs> that was what happened. Joseph was in the pit. He didn't see pit. God didn't show him pit. He showed him throne. While he was in the pit, he did not have resentment 
over his brothers because that will violate the principle of him getting to the place. But if I can guess what Joseph said, he looked, it was no wall, it was pit, wasn't. but Joseph would say, this is not what I saw. If what you are going through, any pit you are on it, pit of low down lifestyle, whatever pit on it is the right pit. Tell your brother and sister, I am in the right pit today. Why are you in the right pit? Because this is not what you saw. If this is not what you saw, the things you saw is going to be manifest. That means what you are seeing today is temporary. Because the things you are seeing today cannot violate the place that you are going to be. Your mistake do not cancel your assignment. You are born for a purpose. And the purpose of God must be fulfilled in your life. Church, that's a total man. A total man is a man that deployed himself. To become what God sent him here to do. The landlord, throw your things out. Just smile and say, this is not what I saw. The landlord said, what are you talking about? Because if that's not what you saw, that means your own house is coming. The real house is in progress. But that should give you a determination. People laugh at me growing up. When they sing that song, they say, I will never mount anything in life. They say, I will make it. I am gone. Because you are telling the story of my life. Nobody gave me any chance. People believe I am imbecile. I will never amount to anything in life. I never cost any one of them on my honor. All I say is that God keep them alive to see what I... I can't understand Christians. Go to places and say, what of your enemies? Say, die, 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 die. Why are you just dying? Do you know the spirit that is upon you? In the book of Luke, they ask Jesus, should we, should we, cancel Jesus said, don't you know the spirit that is upon you? You don't know what spirit you receive. Church, God requires faithfulness. And I'll close with this. Bring me Hebrews chapter 3, so I crown it up with the things I'm saying, so the people will see. Hebrews chapter 3, listen how Paul address you. Take meaning for every word. These words I'm telling you now are part of the principle that I live with. And I'm going to read it for you without opening my Bible. Wherefore, holy brethren, Paul is addressing the Hebrew Christians, not the Corinthians. These are, Corinthians are children who always fight and sleep with their father's mother and all of those things. <laughs> but Hebrew and people who are already matured Believe in the word of God. Say, so, wherefore, well, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and the high priest of our profession. Our what? Our profession. Who was faithful to him that appointed him? As also Moses was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house. Who are the house of Christ? Whose house are we? On what condition? On one condition. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost have said today, if you will hear his voice, don't sit here and say, what is that man talking about? Because it will pass you by. If you will hear his voice, harden not your heart. As in the provocation, in the day of temptation in the wilderness, when your father tempted me and saw my work, 40 years I was gr grieved with that generation because they have always erred and they have not known my way. Verse 12. So I swore in my wrath they should not enter into my rest. I think, no, that's, that, uh, that's 11. That's 11, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I swore in my wrath they should not enter into my rest. Then the next verse say, Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart, that heart that doubt the word of God is an evil heart, an evil heart of unbelief in the pattern from the living God. But exalt one another daily while it's called today. For some of us, that's where, where am I now? 13. 
No, no, I think I got it wrong. 13 said, but exalt one another daily. Why it is today, lest any of you being hardened. Let him not trick any of you. When the devil put an evil thought upon you, you didn't know you were a child of God. You start thinking the thought of the devil. His thought is not your thought. Your thought is when you something is presented to you in the, in, in the internet. Is that correct? They tell you to subscribe. When you believe in it, you click, you download, then it gets into your subconscious. But you cannot stop anybody offering you anything. But you only become part of it when you subscribe. When you download, then it becomes your own. Hallelujah! So, when the devil, the head is a battlefield, when the devil throws thoughts into you, it's a thought. When you start dwelling in it and the convinced that this is correct, that's when you have accepted it. Then it becomes yours. Before then, it's not your thought. And that's why Paul said, let none of you be in the deceived. This calling of sin, the devil, you know, put to, you know, make you feel you are no good and this, and, and you are battling with it in your mind. Then you are not yet at, aware who you are. Romans 5, 20, uh, Romans, 5, 8, uh, Romans chapter 5, somewhere there says, we were made sinners. Not that we went to school to learn how to sin. The way we were born here is sin. By the way, from one man's sin, all of you become sinners. By one man's righteousness, all of you are made the righteousness of God. You need to believe it and confess it. Open your mouth now and say, I am the righteousness of God. Say it with confidence. No, no, I have the one. Don't support Satan in the things he's trying to say. Lest any of you being hardened through the diseases of sin. For some, when they have had, did provoked. That's the truth. No, I think, what is verse 14? 14 says what? For we are made partakers of Christ. That's correct. That's where I'm making, missing it. For we are made partakers of Christ. For emphasis, that's the second time he's saying it. For we are made partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence, you don't need to doubt yourself. You've got to believe what has been taught to you. Sit in a one church. Let the pastor water you with the word of God. Don't be jumping one place to the other without foundation. Because you cannot grow. A seed that is being uprooted can never have root to go into the ground. Grow up in that place where the man of God will give, will have confidence in you over 